Two decades ago, we revealed to the world one of Pete Dye's most stunning and transformative golf course designs, the Pete Dye Golf Club. Today, we celebrate the 20th anniversary of one of Mr. Dye's most legendary courses with the opening of this newly designed putting course. Our appreciation and gratitude to Mr. Pete Dye for his contributions to our club and to the game of golf are infinite. Pacific Links. And I built this golf course. So you're always proud to come back and work with it and be part of it. And what you see in the, the, the mountains, they, they, they uh, got all the coal. So there's the, the, that little black stuff you see over there, it's called coal gob. And it was all over the whole golf course. And uh, worked on it, worked on it. And it took 11 years to build this golf course. So when they say it's 20 years old, it's a lot older than that, as far as I'm concerned. Jim Rose was a great guy. And, he wanted to build this golf course, and he's the one who started it. And uh, I said to Jim, I said, you know, a lot of history on golf and, and coal mines in Scotland and Ireland. I said, what are you going to call it? He said, I'm going to call it the Pete Dye Club. I said, you can call it anything you want, but let's just get the daggone thing finished. Twenty-eight. Major championships have been played on Pete Dye design golf courses. Very special experience and journey that we've been able to participate in and play some small role in. This man right here, Pete Dye, is the best. Not only the best designer, but just the best. <laughs> stand here today and, and see all you people here and, and have the, the two professionals over there that won a few majors, uh, it's, it's un unbelievable. You know, you have leaders in this world and you have followers and um, Pete is a leader. I mean, he's one of those guys that goes out and is, is innovative. He's built two of my favorite courses we played on tour over the years, Hilton Head and TPC at Sawgrass. What's the best thing about being 87? Oh, being 88, I guess. <laughs> you have a wonderful touch on this golf course where you ring the bell in honor of your father. I think that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. That brought tears to my eyes when I saw it. I'd love to have the golf ball concession at all your courses put together. <laughs> Because all of us up here would be very, very rich. Yeah, so right. all those balls that have visited the ponds, and a lot of my golf balls have visited the ponds there. Four basic fundamentals with the golf swing. One's the grip, two's the address position, uh, where the ball position is, uh, posture is number three, and alignment, number four. If you learn to hit the ball pin high, and the best players, when you see them playing well, whether it's myself, Nick, Jack Nicholas, Tiger Woods, you name it, they're always around pin high. They're controlling their distance. They can miss left and right, but they're always pin high. You do that with your golf game, you're going to play better golf. As you see, he's got his, his feet are square, his hips are square, knees are square, shoulders. And the other thing is his eyes. So now watch what happens if Mark tilts his eyes to the back here. It kind of throws his whole body out, okay? If he tilts his head the other way, it opens up his shoulders. You hear that word a lot in golf, connected. Somebody might ask, what's that mean, connected? And what that means is his hands, his forearm, his chest are all working together. The right hand, you can see that this lifeline is buried on top of that thumb, and you can see they both angle the same way. This V that I formed there, and this V that I formed there, 
are pointing toward the right shoulder. Holding the lower body quiet, good alignment, let the upper body start it back, turn through. The only thing I can control is the very next shot, and I have to be 110% committed to my club selection, my caddy's yardage, and the decision that I'm going to make. 